If you're one of my subscribers watching this, I would like to thank you so so much for supporting my channel. This is my final video of 2022 and I hope you had a wonderful year. The Fujifilm X100V continues to surprise me. As I was searching for indoor photography ideas, I came across this video of a fellow YouTuber named Harmeet, where he demonstrated how the X100V can be used as a macro camera. So in today's video, we are going to shoot some macros and see the results. For the photos, I will be using a film simulation recipe from Fuji X Weekly called Positive Film. Not an exact match, but something of a similar look with the Kodak Ektachrome 100G. The subjects for this macro shoot will be the following. Some plants, a spoon and a fork, an energy bar, and a very small projector with different moving parts. From the camera, I set the autofocus to single point and set the focus frame selection to just one focus point. If you plan on using autofocus, you need to be at most two inches away from the subject. Anything closer than two inches and the autofocus just goes all over the place. For the plants, spoon and fork and the mini projector, the X100V had no trouble focusing. But when it comes to the energy bar, the autofocus just refused to work. So I had to set the camera to manual focus. Now keep in mind that you need actual macro lenses to achieve true macro. The photos you are seeing here are just an example to showcase how close you can get to the subject with the Fuji X100V. Now if you want macro photography results without actually getting a macro lens, you can get a reverse ring for your lens. I have this Polaroid reverse ring that I attach to my old Canon lens and my Canon T3i. 